I want to thank all of you for honoring us. It is really our honor to be here today. It is our hope that this water will be for you a source of health and that it will help you to grow and keep building your beautiful village and beautiful community. And it's really our honor and our blessing to be here. Thank you so much. My name is Adam Sultan. I am uh, from Brooklyn, New York. My name is Vicki Sultan. My name is Sophia Konikoff. I'm Judy Sloan. I'm Jacob Konikoff. I'm 18. My name is Liz Kaner from Westport, Connecticut. I heard about the University of Africa about a year ago. I came on this trip because uh, we were celebrating the building of a medical center. I came with my mom, my brother. We decided that we wanted to raise funds to sponsor a water pump and drip irrigation for a village. This mother came to me and explained to me her situation of having to carry her dying son 12 kilometers to try to get some medical help. And my heart was breaking. So I started a fundraising effort and the town of Wilton, Connecticut donated the medical center here in Nibui. We went to many different projects and they were all in different phases. What was amazing was you could actually see the difference. To like be there and see it, it makes you get like a whole nother understanding. When you see how the people are living here without the fundamentals and how much their life has to become centered around getting those things, it is very hard to conceive for people who are used to just running water their entire lives. There's no way for the cycle to end unless the main problem is solved, which is the water. You have given us the greatest institute for them. May God bless you so much. The first day that we got here is when we went to our orphanage that we donated and raised funds for. And we're driving in the car and I'm really just looking around. I mean, this is my sort of first day of taking in Uganda. And all of a sudden we start to pull into the village and I hear singing and I see people, you know, in colorful clothing dancing. That moment was the most incredible moment for me of the entire trip. Because to see how they responded just to water was heartbreaking and heartwarming at the same time. Here we can go in for a relatively small amount of money and you know, change the entire infrastructure for a few thousand people. What little money can do for those uh, wonderful people. I am so impressed with Innovation Africa for so many reasons. If the people had nothing, well now they have water. They have this very modern medical center for Uganda. Faster than I think people can put in, install a kitchen or another project in their home is when these people will be able to get fresh water. Loving people who just need, you know, help and they're all our brothers and sisters. We hope that the things that we brought you will help you to learn, to grow. They don't have to worry like they used to. Now they can grow vegetables, they can take care of the farm because they have time. Everyone in the world should have clean water. Everyone should have electricity. That's really that's why I like what Innovation Africa is doing because they're really coming in and fixing a problem where you know, the government or anyone else you know, isn't tackling it. The needs are infinite but Innovation Africa is certainly doing more than its share. I cannot think of another organization that I would do this with. To understand what Innovation Africa is doing, you really do need to come here and see it. You know, this is just a start. I look forward to being able to come back in the future and help do more for everybody. What's more important in the world than helping another human being? It's not what you take out of life, it's what you leave behind that really matters.